What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here for breakfast. I actually haven't eaten anything today yet. I last ate about 13 hours ago because um, I was planning on doing schoolwork and then eating. Um, I'm just hanging out today, it's 12.42 p.m. Um, I'm going to school today, uh, my, my clown class, and I just finished up some work today. Uh, today and yesterday I've been a little procrastinating. Um, I've just been, I don't know, like I've been doing schoolwork, but it's just, uh, you know, yesterday I went to the dentist um, and, you know, it went pretty well. I, my wisdom teeth are coming in though and they're probably gonna have to take them out. Actually, I have a photo of that. Maybe I'll put that in my thumbnail. I might not. Uh, but anyway, yeah, yesterday I went to the dentist and uh, after that it was sort of just difficult to get back into schoolwork, but before then I did a little. Um, uh, and then today I finished up um, my IT 100 work for this week. Um, I'm not as ahead as I want to, definitely, but I'm definitely, you know, on time and all my work's getting turned in on time. It's just, um, you know, I want to be ahead and I've, I am ahead, but like not as much as I want to be. Um, so, so I have a lot of, the main subject of today's video is I have a lot of screenshots um, and photos. Um, it, for the sake of like history keeping, I have um, a, uh, my computer take a, takes a screenshot of all three of my monitors every five minutes. Um, and I've been doing that for about four years now, and so it's pretty nice because I'm able to go back in time and just see um, all the history. And uh, for the record, um, the data is pretty secure. Um, you know, it's not on a computer that's uh, connected to the internet or anything. Um, and so it's not an issue. But, um, you know, uh, it's like 250 gigabytes worth of photos, be or worth of images, because it's uh, they're all PNG images. And uh, it's on my NAS server, so, um, it's on my NAS server, so it's not really an issue. Like it's 70 terabytes and it's only 60% full right now, you know, so it's fine. Uh, but you know, um, the, um, file size is never going to go down. So, you know, I might as well get ahead and not have to deal with such a big conversion command later on. Um, so I was looking into it. Um, and I think, and you know, I was thinking about converting all of my images, um, like my screenshots and my automatic screenshots to, um, to... AVIF format, um, which is Google's format. It's kind of like WebP, except it's based off of um, the AV1 video codec. Um, and it's really interesting. Um, I converted all of my screenshots to it. Um, and just as a little test, and the, it is 53% smaller. Um, and it's lossless, but we'll get back to that. Um, but yeah, it's 53% smaller after I turned all of my uh, PNG screenshots into, um, into AVIF files. And, um, you know, um, I just think that's cool, um, because it's half the size, uh, for the same quality, but it's actually not the same quality. Uh, this is the exact command I used to convert everything, um, and I literally did quality 100, um, which, let me bring some web pages up, one moment. Uh, yeah, so I'm using the magic command, um, and, uh, the lossless AVIF support was was merged like look like abif support merged and it's merged in there uh so when quality is 100 um you know it's <laughs> it's a uh, when quality is 100 it's a uh, it's it's a lossless right and that's what it's supposed to be um but this guy um ran into this issue where if they run uh you know if they convert something to abif and you you make the quality 100, which should be lossless. You zoom in, and it's not. It's it's just not lossless. Um, and the guy, he said, this is probably uh, happening in the ABIF encoder. There's only uh, a really small difference between those two images, probably due to rounding errors. Um, and it is true. Like, if you, you know, functionally the image is lossless, as in, if you're viewing the image, there isn't any noticeable decrease in quality. Uh, but, um, you know, when you run this exact command, uh, you expect it to be lossless, and it's not. Um, and here's an example, and when I show you guys this, you'll really see how minor this is, but right now, uh, this is a PNG version of the screenshot, and then this is the AVIF version of the screenshot. There's no difference from uh, this size. However, um, if I were to zoom into the conveyor belt here, um, this is the PNG, and then this is the, this is the AVIF. And it's like, obviously different. It's, it's like, <laughs> like, you know, 
Um, or like, I don't know, here. Yeah, like it's it's just different. This is the ABIF and this is the PNG. Um, and it's just so crazy because it says quality 100 um, and that's just a lie. Uh, or like up here in the frame rate, like, you know, you could just tell. Um, and it's really crazy, um, you know, so I'm not gonna be doing AVIF anytime soon until they fix that. Um, and if I knew, what's image magic in? Is it in C++? Oh, it's in C, that's fancy, okay. Um, I guess it's not fancy, because he's older, but um, the, the, it, it, it's just really strange because, um, well, you know, I would fix it. I would put in a pull request, but I don't know any C, so, you know, what can you do? Um, it's just a little irritating. Um, and, you know, yeah, until, unless there's like some sort of CLI tool uh, other than image magic that converts things, which there probably is, um, you know, uh, it just sucks. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Um, what? I think I was going to show you guys something, but I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah. So what I wanted to say is my, my five-minute screenshot thing, where it takes a screenshot of all my monitors every five minutes, the whole point of that is to show, like, exactly what the pixels were showing when the screenshot was taken. Like, and it sucks because... Um, like, I want to be able to blow up the screenshot to the full size of my screen and it'll look exactly like how it did when the screenshot was taken. Uh, and it just sucks because that's not the case. Um, it, it's just not, um, it's just not, it, it's just not correct. Um, and so it's irritating that, you know, they claim to be lossless and they merged a, a lossless thing, but due to, due to rounding errors, it's not. Um, but yeah, and I would use JPEG XL um, because it seems like a little bit of a better format. Uh, however, it's not supported in, in Chrome and I, just, I can't have, I, you know, uh, AVIF is supported in 93% of web browsers and I, you know, it's just so obviously preferable over JPEG XL, um, even though JPEG XL is a superior format and the cooler file extension. I know it doesn't matter, but you know, I think PNG is pretty cool when compared to JPEG. Um, even though, you know, JPEG, you know, you can, it's like a word, but PNG, you do just kind of have to say the acronym. Um, like PNG is a pretty cool file extension and EXE on Windows is a pretty cool file extension. Uh, but .avif for AVIF files, that's not very cool. Uh, but JPEG XL, it's JXL. That's cool, that's a cool file extension. Like .jxl, that's just a cool looking uh, series of letters to have at the bottom to have at the end of your of your image, uh, in my opinion. And AVIF, not only is the file extension ugly, but the format's a little worse. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't have uh, the type of decoding where uh, it's blurry and then it like gets uh, higher resolution. You know, it's, I think it's called, I, I, I'm inclined to call it progressive decoding, but I really don't think that's true. I don't know how true that is, uh, that that's what it's called. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else is really going on aside from me having to go to school today. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to make some food now. Bye.